Hello everyone. I'm thrilled to share my floating library experience with you all. Before I take you through the whole adventure, let me guide you about the entry process, which is a bit quirky. Initially, I thought I would simply head to the Matra beach and there the ship would be waiting for me to hop on board. However, it turned out to be more involved than that. Here's the step-by-step -step guide. First, open Google and search for Logos Hope Muscat to find the complete map and directions to reach the destination, which is in Mutra. Once you reach the location, you will find people and buses over there. The shuttle buses come and go, taking people to the port, where the floating library ship is docked. At this point, you will also pay the entry fee, which is 500 baser per head. Hop on to the next available bus and enjoy the three minutes ride. The volunteers will guide you throughout the process, so do not worry about anything. Photography is not allowed in port area, so be mindful of that. You can take pictures and videos as much as you want in ship library. We chose to visit at night to avoid the day heat. Upon boarding the ship, you will be guided to a classroom-like area where you will be provided with all the necessary information such as money points, different sections, and other relevant details. It has all the price breakdowns, so just have a look for these signs if you forget how the unit system works. Um, if you go through the cash desks, um, you'll get to the discount items, because you're a good crowd, only because of that. You'll enter our book fair. Now the book fair runs a one-way system, so you won't come back through it with the lifeboat. You'll go, oh, so hope, we are so happy to have all of you here. Everyone can just... And finally, we entered. The unit payment system. I noticed the library mainly offered children's books. They were very colorful and captivating. I loved them so much and wanted to buy all. However, they also offer a wide range of other non-fiction books. The library staff is very helpful. Has any one of you visited Floating Library? Let me know in comments below. I found the prices very economical comparatively to bookstores. Apart from books, there are also other unique items related to the floating library. Arabic books were available on 50% discount. I love these sets of books the most. For payment they were only taking cash or credit cards. I bought complete Jane Austen collection. It costed me 12 real only. And of course the logo's hope mug, which was 3 real. I'm from Singapore. Welcome to Logos. Pick this fridge magnet too.
It was the last shift Hent's library was closing down. On our way back there was colourful gallery, full of pictures, paintings, The cafeteria was closed too, by the time we reached there. We enjoyed the floating library very much. It was time to go back home. <laughs>